is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about several different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about the exorcist we'll be talking about scream 7 we'll be talking about beetlejuice 2 and then chucky now starting off here with the exorcist mike flanagan gave some comments to the hollywood reporter expressing his mindset going into the upcoming exorcist film that again is not going to be connected to david gordon green's movies it's just going to be set in the same universe established by the 1973 classic he said, we aren't making this or we aren't making this easy on ourselves, but I've always felt that there's no point in going into a franchise or into a property that monolithic unless there's something new you can bring. I chased the Exorcist very aggressively because I was convinced I had something that I could add. Now, seeing the, or hearing a comment or reading a comment like that, hearing how hungry he is about it makes me confident that Mike Flanagan is going to deliver something that is of grand quality in comparison to what we just got with david gordon green and believer he went on to say this is an opportunity to do something that i believe has never been done within the franchise something that honors what came before it but isn't built on nostalgia i really just saw an opportunity to make the scariest movie i've ever made i know expectations are high no one's more intimidated than i than i am now i don't think he's gonna make the scariest movie ever made but again reading this lets me know he is driven he has a game plan and I trust that he will tackle it and execute it in a phenomenal way. Even if it's not as good as that original, it is probably going to end up being one of the best sequels to The Exorcist we have seen so far, hopefully. Now, David Gordon Green also revealed some details about his second Exorcist movie during an interview with IndieWire. He said, oh man, that's a long answer. It's complicated. It's long and complicated. We had our next one written and had it mapped out for the third one. Again, it was ambitious and complicated. We were going to Europe for some pretty extraordinary backdrops. It was one of those things where all of the creative parties got together. He revealed that we would have followed Ann Dowd's character in, in this sequel too. Now, how that could have looked on screen, I don't know. And at this point, I really don't care. I feel as when it comes to The Exorcist, we ended up where we should have been from the get-go. A lot of people were saying that Mike Flanagan should have been the one at the helm from the get-go. Now, I feel like we've gone to the place we should have been and all i care about is what mike flanagan is going to cook up whatever was going to happen with that believer trilogy good riddance next thing we need to talk about here is scream 7 so scream 7's filming delay rumor is being debunked by daniel rpk but the source scream spain is insisting that the rumor is true due to schedule conflicts with the waterfront show that kevin williamson is working on until december now i have been able to find reports that corroborate that he is supposed to be working on the show until december or at least that the show itself will be filming until december that's not to say that kevin will need to be present until then but i don't know how long he needs to be there now i haven't been able to find anything to corroborate the rumor that filming is actually now going to start in january but producer marion madalena who has worked with Wes Craven several times and returned to produce the last two screams is also back to produce seven. According to her official site, I was able to find this. Something very interesting. What was interesting is the last update on the site, which I will leave a link to in the description, reads, in 2024, Scream 7 was greenlit by Paramount Pictures and will feature the return of Nev Campbell and Courtney Cox with Kevin Williamson directing and Mary and Madalena producing. Now, what's interesting about that is the Courtney Cox part they're describing Courtney Cox as if she's locked and we haven't gotten that from any reputable trades Daniel I think has been saying that Courtney is still in talks but not signed but Marion Madalena who is producing the film her official site is refer referring to Cox in the sense that she is signed so if she isn't already signed they're extremely confident that she will or maybe this site is just completely wrong because the site is associated with Marianne so I just thought that was an interesting tidbit to discover that Courtney Cox and Nev Campbell will be returning is what's outlined and not just Nev Campbell will be returning with Kevin Williamson directing. It explicitly mentions Nev Campbell and Courtney Cox. So it sounds like Courtney is locked to return as Gail Weathers. Not that that's shocking. Just wanted to throw that tidbit out there. Now we're going to talk about Beetlejuice 2. If you haven't seen Beetlejuice 2, then you shouldn't be listening, I guess. But how did Beetlejuice 2 originally end? Well, if you've seen this film, you know that Astrid met this guy, got married, and they had a baby. But the baby ended up being Baby Beetlejuice, who ended up crawling on the walls, attacked some people in the room with Astrid, and then Lydia waked up to reveal that this was just a dream. Beetlejuice was next to her, then she woke up to again reveal that that was a dream too. However, originally, the ending with the baby was going to be the ending. It was just going to be that. Lydia didn't wake up. 
Baby Beetlejuice crawled towards Astrid, said mommy, and then the screen cut to black after Astrid and Lydia or something like that started screaming. Now, a part of me was expecting it to be changed anyway, and I'm glad it was because the ending was way too wild in the sense that what if you don't get a three? Why end your film with something so outlandish like that that's in the same vein of a bride of Chucky setting up a seed of Chucky? It just feels very weird. So the fact that they changed it to a dream, I think works much better for their overall story. And it harkens back to Lydia just being troubled by that experience she had earlier in the film when Beetlejuice called her and Rory down into his office to chat. And they saw baby Beetlejuice. It makes much more sense for that to be a dream versus Astrid giving birth to the baby and then no context given as to how that's even possible and your movie ended. So I'm glad they changed it, thank God. Last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Chucky. Zachary Arthur, who plays Jake, was at Halloween Horror Nights with the Chucky display, of course. There's an interesting question he's been recorded asking this display, though. I'll leave a link to this video of him asking this in the description. He asked Chucky when he would turn him back to a human. Chucky says, I'm not a monster and I'll see you real soon. Now, this doesn't confirm anything. It's also not of my knowledge how much of this might have been like pre-recorded responses that that doll was set to say i don't have any ins and outs of how that doll was set up to function at halloween horror nights but the way it's answered got people thinking that if season four doesn't happen jake's story is likely not done because zachary himself probably has been told to ask that question knowing that someone is possibly recording him and now we're talking about it so at least there's some buzz around Jake returning in Chucky in whatever format that is, whether that be season four or a new movie. But the fact that he was, I can say he was sent there. I think he was purposely sent there to ask a question like that, knowing that someone probably will record it. And now here we are talking about it because I've seen those of you share it online. We're speculating on if this means we're going to get a season four renewal sooner rather than later i don't think it means we're going to get a season four renewal i think it's just teasing that if we don't jake's story will continue in some capacity whether that be in a new film of sorts that's centered on him or if he's just in a supporting role jake will be back let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews let me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video